What's up, people out there in YouTube land? <laughs> well, today I want to talk about a new word I've learned, a new position, a new sexual position. I've been on the Datelines, and lately I've been seeing this when it, you know, when they ask you, do you like top, bottom, passive, active? Well, I noticed that guys, especially guys my age, been putting down side, S-I-D-E, side. So I contact one of the guys and I said, you know, well, he's in his late 50s. I said, I never heard the terminology side. What's a side? Because I'm thinking side chick, you know, because you know I did a podcast on side chick. So I'm thinking of something like a side chick, side piece, you know, side. What it isn't. It's a new terminology. My name is Eric, and welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. Size are men who find fulfillment in every kind of sexual act except anal penetration. Instead, a broad range of oral, manual, and frictional body techniques provide a release that's rich in emotional, physical, and psychological rewards. Some adherents refers to these activities as outer course. So I guess if you have anal, that's intercourse. So anything, if you do everything but anal, I guess it's outer course. This is the world we live in, guys. This is 2024. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, um, so the guy I contacted, we had this conversation. He sent me this little piece. And, and I understand perfectly what, what he was saying. Like I said, he's about around my age. And he's not into, um, he used to be into anal intercourse, but he's not into that anymore. And he finds that it's more gratifying, cuddling, holding, touching, rubbing, you know, like that. And, um, and he explained this to me and, and I wanted to ask that, that, that question. And the question I wanted to ask was, could he get an erection? Because it sounds to me that now for the last two, since 2019, I've been meeting men my age and older who, um, have a problem getting an erection and they'll put in, in what they do actively, they'll put down bottom. And I noticed, I think I did a podcast on this too. They're not, when you, when I meet them, they're not bottoms. They don't act like a bottom. They don't, there's a lot of things they won't do as a bottom, but they seem to get their gratification. Now this is a little different now. This is a little different. They seem to get their gratification through anal course. But I think I told you, these guys are not so much anal, you know, how's that saying? They like to put things up their butt to, in order to get excited because they feel that they're coming when that happens because you touch their prostate. So this is a little different. I take that back. It's a little different. So now I'm meeting guys my age who don't want to go through the anal, uh, anal thing. They want to touch and hold and hug and all like this, which is fine. I, I'm going to tell you something. I I found in my lifetime, even when I was, when I was young in the tw my twenties, I found that it's more satisfying, sexually satisfying. If you meet, kiss, hug, cuddle, you know, touch. And then, and then you may go into the intercourse. Maybe it all depends. I mean, the, the, the worst sex I think I've ever deal, and I've done it, is sex in a, in a, in a movie house or sex in the, in, this, in the parks because then it's, it's just wang, was it wang bang, thank you man, 
and then they go on, they'll walk on about, about their business. And I never understood that. That wasn't very satisfying to me. It was like satis satisfying to the guy who's getting off, but it wasn't satisfying to me. And I found it more satisfying what this guy was saying about being a side. And I thought about it, I said, wow, maybe I should put that in my, as one of my things, side. Um, it's everything but anal intercourse. Now, let's get back to, to the other guys I was talking about, my age I was meeting, who couldn't um, get an erection. Now, those guys claim, because they still had their prostate, that touching their prostate turns them on. Now, I guess it's anal intercourse, because the guys I met is not so much about, uh, well, you know what I mean. Anything you can touch the prostate with. You know, you know what I'm getting at. You don't have to be a penis. It could be your, your hand, your, you know, whatever. And that's how they get off. Now, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, everything is weird. I'm getting older and the whole world is weird. <laughs> a lot of things I've never done. Just like I think in the podcast I told you, I've never fist a guy. I didn't fist a guy until 2019. I was in my late 60s till I fist a guy. I know guys were getting fist in, the, in, my, in my 20s. I never got fist. I didn't even like the idea of fit, you know, doing that. But so now they have a new thing with side. So I, I, the name of this podcast, I said, is intercourse overrated. And pretty much it may be overrated because I know some guys, uh, the guys that call themselves top, um, all they want to do is stick their dick in you and go on about their business. But it is more sexually satisfying, especially if you meet the person, talk, have a conversation. Um, like uh, one, I met a guy in D.C. and, and uh, I was living in the Bronx and I, I was on my way to Virginia and I stopped in D.C. to meet the guy and I went to his house. It was, we sat on his couch and he had uh, uh, Harold Mellon and Blue Notes playing on the, on the, on the, uh, on the speakers. And we had um, wine. I don't drink. So I had, uh, what you call it, uh, cranberry uh, juice. And he had his wine. And we sit there and we talk for a whole hour. And then we got into it, intimate, you know, kissing and hugging. And then slowly we went to the bedroom and, and we made love. We didn't screw my... Uh, Excuse my expression, we didn't fuck, suck. We made love. Kissing, hugging, touching. So that, I guess, is sides. So, is intercourse overrated? I think so. I'd rather be a side. You just heard the craziness that lives inside my head.